Welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Phalanx video. In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at the librarian in Phalanx and explain the basic functions. What you can see here is the standard view of the librarian. Folders from different sources in the librarian have different color codes. The Phalanx Factory sample library is violet. The factory presets are turquoise. And samples you added yourself, for instance, Vengeance sample packs, appear yellow. Owners of a Metrum license will also see the Metrum samples and preset content here. They appear blue. The librarian itself has several view options. If you activate the Drives tab, you can navigate through your local hard drives and other storage devices. You can add any folder you like to Phalanx's Lib tab here, after which that folder will be included in your personal Phalanx library. You can mark your go-to folders. Those you use much more often than the others as favorites. And these will appear in the fave list. To remove the favorite status again, right click on the name. The file or folder will disappear. Depending on the size of your library, you could be spending too much time looking for a suitable clap or kick in several folders, or even several hard drives. During production, you may browse through several hundreds of kicks, and some of them are great. But where were they again? Once more, Phalanx comes to the rescue with another clever function, tag. The tag function is a kind of temporary favorites feature. You can mark any sounds you think could work and display them in a single list. Then open the tag list, listen to all those candidate samples, and decide which one is most suitable for your project. To remove a sound from the list, simply click on the tag symbol again to deactivate it. Phalanx allows you three seconds time to change your mind. When the timer runs out, that sound disappears from the tag list. Let's move on. The librarian has a navigation bar that helps you find your way around your library. It displays the full current path and lets you jump out of nested folders to any level. The view is then centered and only the contents of the current folder are displayed. All other folders remain collapsed. There are more options at the very top of the librarian. The first button here activates the Collapse All function. It closes all open folders at once. The next button causes the librarian to refresh its content. If, for instance, you have deleted or renamed a file in Windows or OS X, use the Refresh button to update the view. On to the next three buttons. Switch Autoplay on or off. Stop playing an autoplayed sample. Adjust Autoplay volume. By the way, you are not forced to use the librarian to load samples into Phalanx. There's another alternative. Phalanx lets you drag and drop audio files onto a sample pad from external sources, for example, from your hard drive or even from your sequencer's librarian. Another comfortable feature, the Phalanx librarian recognizes key commands. Use the up and down cursor keys to step through samples. Use the right cursor key to open a folder or load a sample laden. Use the left cursor key to close the folder again. That's all for now about the librarian. See you in the next video.